In the early 17th century, the voices of native tribes echoed among the oaks and pines. There were forests and rivers and sand dunes. There was a vast, clear lake that stretched as far as the eye could see. But big changes were on the way. Sometime between 1772 and 1779, Jean-Baptiste Pointe de Sable arrived. Regarded as Chicago's first permanent settler, he lived at the head of the Chicago River for almost 20 years. Sir. It is with regret I order the evacuation of your post, owing to the want of provisions. The goods of the factory you may give to the friendly Indians who may be desirous of escorting you on to Fort Wayne, and to the poor and needy of your post. They appreciated that the war dance was their last on their native soil. That was a sort of funeral ceremony of old associations and memories. I desire, on behalf of the delegation from Illinois, to put in nomination as a candidate for President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln of Illinois. The fire behind us raged and crackled, and the whole earth, or all we saw of it, was a lurid yellowish red. I have no doubt my mother is insane. She has long been a source of great anxiety to me. A million men hold all the property in this country. The law has no use for the other 54 million. You have nothing more to do with the law except to lay hands on it and throttle it until it makes its last kick. Men and women of education and refinement come to live in a cheaper neighborhood because they lack the ability to make money, because of ill health, because of an unfortunate marriage, or for other reasons which do not imply criminality or stupidity. The World's Fair Committee of the House held what will probably be its last meeting this morning. The result of the session was a complete victory for the Chicago people. He has lost his liberty, he has lost his name, he has lost his property, he has lost his wife. Gentlemen of the jury, will you deprive him of his life?
we established our government in the district of Lake Michigan. One of my outhouses was converted into a temple of justice. Should you carefully follow out our instructions to the letter, we can assure you that your son will be safely returned to you within six hours of our receipt of the money. If you have the football and 11 guys are after you, if you're smart, you'll run. No, no, no. My son was not a gangster. He was always a good boy, until he started going around with that North Side gang. I warned him, but he had no faith in me. I've got to go down to that tavern and talk to that guy about the goat. We'll let the goat run the bases and water the outfield. We'll let him eat some grass and I'll kiss him, whatever it takes. Never in my 50 years in court have I heard so much obscenity as I've heard during this trial. Your idea of justice is the only obscenity in the room, Julie. Live from Chicago, 